Welcome inside of Kissing After Dark. I'm Lenny Green. The lady has arrived. We've been telling you that she was going to come. The Floesis herself, Miss Natalie Stewart. It is an honor and a pleasure to grace my eyes upon you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Anytime. I mean, you know, you fit right into the fabric mm. of what I do every night. See, we have the voices, you see. Yeah, I, you know what? Uh -huh. I know you have the voice and uh -huh. you have the flow. Uh -huh. I, they say I have something, so, the, I, you know. The tone is there right here. So, we, we're, trying to We're about to just lean back. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, you know, you're leaning back in a great way these days, and and I just wanted to uh, commend you on all your efforts, and, and happy holidays to you as Thank well. Thank you, and to you. This is a very festive time of the year here Indeed. in the city of New York. Uh, I, is it just as festive in London? Well, we don't have Thanksgiving, so we, we start much later. You know, we go all the way to December. Yeah, <laughs> you know, America kind of like... All, all the way out from November, it's, it's, it's Thanksgiving, it's greetings, it's festive. It's pretty cool, but it's, it's different back home, yeah. I understand. Well, you know what? Uh, welcome to the weather that I think you might be able to appreciate and, and to enjoy. I, you know what? The weather I'm, I'm used to living in, I don't know about the, <laughs> <laughs> the appreciation and the enjoyment, but used to, yeah. That's real talk. <laughs> Um, we should mention that uh, for those who may be just joining us tonight for the very first time and may not know you uh, as Natalie Stewart, mm -hmm. uh, we should mention that you are one half of a group called Floetry. Mm, indeed. I, I'm the... Uh I'm the 19-year-old girl who came up with a concept of poetic delivery of musical intent. I'm the 31-year-old woman who uh, is continuing that, that, you know, study. So, you know what, let's go back for just a moment and give them a taste of what was. Indeed. And let's bring it fast forward afterward and bring you to what is happening with this lady right now. Indeed. Natalie Stewart, the floor is, is with us inside of Kissing the Dark. This will bring back, indeed, a memory for you. 98.7 KISS FM. I am kissing after dark with, with company tonight and in the graces of a beautiful lady by the name of Miss Natalie Stewart. And uh, she is the Floresist. Indeed. And she has a brand new CD out on Shana Key Records. And uh, it's called The Floresist Presents Floetic Soul. Mm. Uh, define that for me. Uh, well, floetic is the ethos that... Um you know, is my mantra of music. As poet, I am poet, and as poet, when I do music, it is uh, under the ethos of poetic delivery, musical intent. That is the floetic ethos. Um, and then the soul, you know, uh, my first works, I was a, I suppose, a genre within the genre of neo-soul. So this uh, offering is on that vibration for the floetic soul out there, the, the, the listeners that I know, uh, the people that I know want that vibration. Um, the record was sent to us, mm. and I gotta be honest, I saw the record, I put it to the side. Uh, my producer engineer, Global Vito, he came and he said, yo yeah, man, did you see this record? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I got it, but... Uh -huh. I haven't listened to it yet. Uh -huh. He said, no, wait till you see the video. <laughs> I'm like, the video? Showed me the video. I was like, I like this record. Uh -huh. We jumped on it right away. Oh, okay, thank um, you. The, the, the video is from the single called Forever, featuring a dear friend of mine, Music Soul Child. Indeed. And uh, wonderful song. Tell me the inspiration that led to you writing this. Uh, I love love. I blessed to have walked and chosen to walk a, a very epic uh, love story in my life. I kind of vowed at a very young age that, you know, the books I was reading, the movies I was watching, they were so great, I had to make sure my own was. And um, the past four years have been quite transitional for me. And the constant um, being in my life has been my husband, um, who, you know, before that was my, my, my poetry peer, you know, um, who was the first person I ever told I was a poet, who was the first person to take me to a spoken word event and sign me up and uh, has just really supported my exploration. And, you know, careers are careers, but life, you know, I have a wonderful career, I have a magnificent life, you know. And um, this song is about companionship and just the magic that can come from it. it. Sometimes it's its own lane, you know. You can't necessarily mix that with someone who's not interested with that articulation or idea, you know. But for those who are, 
you know, companionship can just be such a... I wish I'd have made this song, you know, when I was getting married. I'd, I'd have walked down the aisle to it, you know? Well, you guys are, are um, soulmates. Indeed. And it sounds like you didn't know you guys were soulmates initially. Well, <laughs> I feel as though I knew, actually, because in, in, in meeting him, I remembered him more so than just met, you know, and I think he knew because in meeting me, he remembered me also. I find such a great fascination when I, I meet couples and they share with me their first path on the journey of love. Uh, did you know that you guys would be husband and wife? Uh, I have a song on Floetic called Hello, uh -huh. and the introduction to that song says, uh, November 11th, 1998, I met this spirit, this soul. He had this voice and, wow. you know, these eyebrows, and yeah, that's, that's November 11th, 1998. My life changed because I had a peer, a kin. It's, it's a very, it's, it's such an important part of existence if you know who you are. You know, to be able to know someone who knows who they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very important. It's, it's just so important. And it's wonderful when the two cosmic energies meet. Oh, I was grateful because I knew a lot of people who didn't, you know. So, know, <laughs> so it's grateful. It's just, it's just, you know, just, and it's creative and it's art and poets and there's so much more, you know. So, yeah, wonderful. Well, let's go into uh, a song that probably reflects uh, the journey of where these two lovebirds are going. Uh, endless journey forever. This is featuring music soul trials taken off of uh, Miss Natalie Stewart's uh, fourth of bro brand new uh, mm, debut. Debut CD. Uh, so sit back and enjoy, baby. This is kissing after dark. We're kissing after dark. I'm Lenny Green, and we are with Natalie Stewart, the Uh You said a little while ago that you, over the last four years, you went through a transitional period. Mm. Uh, and of course, there's no way I can let you leave tonight without explaining to the enormous fan base uh, that you have here in the Tri-State of New York. What simply broke the, you two ladies into different paths? Mm. Oh, no, I, I completely... Um, appreciate the question being asked. Um, you know, as I've said, I, I, I've taken it back to this this 19-year-old girl poet um, on a study of how you can bring poetry and music together. Uh, within that study, we were performing poet group three plus one. Myself, my husband, and two brothers back home, and uh, I invited my friend who was kind of struggling on the R&B scene, a more kind of manipulative, mental part of the business. And I invited her down to the poetry spaces where uh, we were performing, the open mics, the places where people come out to hear you. Mm. you There's know? a lot of spots like that in London? Oh, indeed, yeah. And, um, and I asked her to you know, get involved in the choruses because we were getting into song structure in our study of spoken word, you know. So I come down and hit some of these choruses because we're not just going to do 15 minute poems, you know. We're, we're, we're trying to reach a specific audience as well now. And um, in, in explaining that in its simplicity, you know, in the beginning I was the manager, I was the booking agent, I was the uh, PR, yeah. I was the photographer, you know, um, all, all these different spaces. Uh, Friends of mine had moved to Atlanta and I got us a show booked in Atlanta and then a show booked in Philly, that was in 2000. Um, once we got to Philadelphia, we started to work with A Touch of Jazz. When I got to a point of, of you know, being signed to DreamWorks and, and putting this, this record together, um, I kind of handed the management aspect over to, to a man by the name of Jay Irving um, and he became the management Mm -hmm. of flowetry. Gotcha. Um, now some years later, by the time we started to record Flowology app, it seemed that Jay now, now thought that he had started flowetry and uh, he wanted to become creatively involved uh, in things, you know, dumb it down. Mm -hmm. You gotta come back this way, we gotta cross over, we gotta make this thing go mainstream, right. you know. When, you know, if you're a poet, this is mainstream, seven time Grammy nominated, uh, you know, I, I can't even get into just all of the uh, amazing, fabulous things that Flowetry was doing at the time. And um, so I fired Jay. Mm -hmm. That was at the end of uh, 2006. 
At the beginning of 2006, Marshall had signed a solo deal with Aftermath. Um, Dr. Dre, so. Yes. Right. And uh, once I fired Jay, Marsha decided to pursue Jay's path. Uh. Now, the thing about flowetry is it's a poetic delivery of musical intent and it has a degree of ashe, mm -hmm. energy, mm -hmm. blessing, mm -hmm. light, solution on it. Something you could play, meditate, sort your mind out to, heal yourself to. And I, I am very, 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 I say adamant to that. That's what I do. Um, it's art. It's healing form art energy. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to jump on something to give a different meditation to incite any other energy in that way. Uh, Flowetry's doors will always be open to Marsha, they never were closed. Um, Marsha put out Neo Soul is Dead, the mixtape, um, which I think was a statement that, 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 that I understood. Um, and then, you know, who's gone on to do other things. I Last year I, I tried to put together a Flowetry tour. Um, I was very hurt by the flow of remix situation. Right. Um, it had nothing to do with me. Um, I, I, the audience, anyone who came to a flow of show. I, I know. The I audience, was one of them. okay. <laughs> you know, um, so, so th that hurt me deeply. And uh, the only person who didn't want to get on board, I reached out to, to Marsha's team. Uh, to, to align this tour last year uh, so that everyone who had, who had left and wanted tickets back really right. could come out and uh, Marsha didn't want to do it. Interesting. So, simply, right. um, you know, Marsha just doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, and, and for whatever reason, and I haven't had a chance to sit down with Marsha, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, I would be very curious to find out her <laughs> Because of, of course there are perspectives, yeah. you know, always, but ultimately uh, just to answer and to be fair and honest onto, onto the, the amazing fan base who manifested and, and joined us in building such an amazing thing, yes. um, it's just important to, to answer. Well, Nelly, a wonderful concert that, that uh, you put together and uh, bringing R&B and, and, and poetry together, a wonderful platform, very creative and very original. And there's no one that really probably can do it like what you originally planned and how successful you, both of you guys were. So uh, that's a, a part of history that will remain Indeed. right where it is. I'm but very proud of. Obviously, this young lady is still reaching higher ground. She has a <laughs> brand new CD out, and it's called Floridic Soul. You have got to pick it up. I got to go into another song that I love off of this track. Please. You have a few friends on here yeah. uh, that, that are... Friends of mine. Oh, wonderful. I, I love Come Over. <laughs> Very seductive. You know, in, in, in listening to, to Nellie speak, you hear that natural, flowy, <laughs> passionate, romantic. I mean, you speak naturally in such a flowetic way. Uh, but when you, we get into Come Over with Indeed. Layla Hathaway. Indeed. It kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, the Gosh, you know, I'm theater trained, and, and, and Layla's like a thespian. Yes, she is. You know, vocal thespian, yes, yes. and uh, this this song completely is about the divine feminine principles of attraction, and and seduction, and and sensuality. And yeah. that's why we're going to play it right now. <laughs> kissing after dark, because those are all the elements, baby, that measure up to kissing after dark. So sit back and vibe on this. It's Natalie Stewart, the flowersis with Layla Hathaway. Come over inside of kissing after dark. Anything imparting that you would like to leave uh, to your many fans um, listening tonight? First of all, thank you. I feel you. I feel like I know everybody, you know. It's so funny. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out on the road and, and been a while since I had an offering. So this was made by me and, and some friends for you. And um, at the top of the year, uh, I'll be on the road. So get the project, live with it, pick your favorite song. Songs <laughs> and uh, and let's go on and do and do that life thing together, uh, where we all bring it together. Let's uh, enjoy. Let me, Natalie Stewart, inside of kissing after dark. Thanks for coming. Thank you.